activate and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are here on episode 9 of our Minecraft 1.16 guide and uh, yeah this one's going to be a fun episode. I think I mentioned what we were doing in the last episode and uh, yeah we are building a cow crushing machine. I don't know that doesn't sound too uh, friendly. Maybe just a cow farm we can call it but um yeah before we get to that i would please like to ask you guys to wash your hands it helps you out and helps others out as well so please do that after this video all right so in today's video we are building the cow farm and it is turning nighttime. so uh, while we wait to sleep i will uh, just recap you of what happened off camera i um kind of organized these chests a little bit they were getting a little unorganized i need to um actually make some more or we're actually going to build a storage uh room or something like that hopefully soon because i'm running out of storage as you can see most of these are full um so yeah another thing is i did end up um getting some spruce logs as well as some other things spruce logs just because we needed wood and i think i want to use spruce in uh some of the next builds we ended up getting four more diamonds because uh, we needed to go get some more iron because I needed it for some building materials and we ended up getting some more coal. So, I mean, I didn't want to actually um, miss the diamonds. I wanted to record it, but uh, I ended up not. I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't mad at me, but uh, yeah, four more diamonds. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but um, yeah, I'm glad we got it. Oh, we also died in between episodes maybe twice i think uh because one of the times we actually were blown up by a creeper around right here and then the second time oh no oh yeah the second time we actually died right in front of the house when a creeper blew up and the door was open so example i was right here creeper blew up and i died and that was the second time but um yeah we are here the crowd farm will be right in this block right here i have it framed out already um i'm gonna try to keep it the same theme i like this uh idea we have going right here hopefully it looks nice if not we can change the outside the cow farm is gonna go right here um the uh cow farm i guess thing you can call it the the uh um the build is from Gippy 6 gaming i believe yes it is and i will leave a link to that video in the description i have to give credit where credit is due because this is not my build i definitely don't know how to make this i'm awful with the uh, redstone and all that stuff so uh yeah i'm gonna be following his build i will uh be popping in and out uh every time i do something here i'm not gonna show you the whole build even though it's not gonna take that long but um yeah i do have the two cows here uh, you'll definitely see those guys go in. We'll probably, at the end of the video, breed those guys up, get this farm up and working, and call it a day. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are. And let's get into it. All right. So um, I got a couple things done. I'm just going to show you guys what I did. It's not fully done yet, but um, let me just run this by you. So if you're trying to build this, um, you're going to need well uh two hoppers is optional i used one for like uh this setup i have going this is gonna be a little uh i guess different than what skippy six gaming uh his tutorial was like because i'm trying to combine uh confine it within these walls right here so oh i thought there was a creeper there so um yeah you're gonna need an observer two dispensers some buttons some hoppers a chest uh so a water bucket a lava bucket and some blocks really that's it some slabs maybe and some stairs but there is not a lot to do um, i mean not a lot to uh get for this build um yeah so it actually is turning nighttime so let's go and sleep really quickly also i have to show you guys um something as well before i forget i just remembered um i'll show you guys right now if he's still there there is a pillager stuck in a tree over here i think well he was there before oh there he is he's right here um yeah so he's just stuck in there like that we'll leave him in there until we can uh 
do something with him. I don't know. I saw him maybe a couple episodes ago, but I completely forgot to mention it. And then I just heard him um, right before I started recording. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that if you ever see him in a video. Um, maybe we'll think of like a cool catchphrase if you spot him in the video or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, this is basically the build. So, in here, there's a lava bucket. And in here, there's a water bucket. So, when this all gets complete, the uh, regular cows will be right in this block here. You press that button right here. The water dispenses. You're able to breed the cows. Once you're able to breed them, the babies will then uh, get stuck right here. And then once they grow up, you can um, you can then click on this button. And then um, the lava dispenses and then comes back. So they uh, the cows go on fire. They burn they die their drops get um collected in the hopper and then um yeah and then i come they get into this chest so quite simple not that hard i'm gonna finish the build right here um so basically what i'm gonna do is just cover this up so we have no um we have no like missing spots in this build because um yeah so our cow is gonna be right here um, yeah, that looks good. I think I built this one too high. And then, hmm. Oh, yeah, this is going to be stairs. That's what I was looking for. So, this is going to be stairs so I can breed the cows. Um, once I actually show it off, you'll actually see what I'm talking about. But since these are two stairs, you can click right in between both of them. So, that is actually perfect. We're just going to build uh, these walls really quickly. Um, yeah, this whole side needs to get built. We actually need a little more stone brick, um, which is unfortunate. And we need to um, cover that up as well. Maybe we'll do glass here just so we can see in to make sure they are fully grown uh, uh, cows and not babies that we are killing. Whoa. Oh, that was the sugarcane farm. That scared me. Oh, and there's a trident. Uh drowned over there but we need to wait for more uh cobble to smelt it's over there smelting right now we'll uh take a little break this will probably be done i mean it's basically done right now we'll probably put the cows in in a second here on camera and yeah i'll be right all right so i kind of went a little overboard and kind of completed the whole thing well not the whole thing almost 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 so um, this is the design I have right now. It's kind of missing one thing. I don't know what that is though, but um, that's what we're looking like right now. It's, uh, I'm trying to think of, it's kind of bland, I think. Um, it's missing definitely one thing. We'll go like a, we'll give like a 360 tour. Here's the button in the back for the observer or sorry, the dispenser. Uh, here are my cows and the chicken and the sheep got in here too. So um, we'll probably put those cows in off camera just because that's tedious work. Here's the back of it. Um, added these leaves in. Here's the other side. And then here's the front again. Let's go inside. And then we have a crafting table. I'll probably put a chest right here uh, for some storage. And then uh, I think everything's up and running. So I'll show you guys really quickly. Here is the lava. As you can see, it comes in and out. And then I'll show you guys the water. Um, just press the button. That's the only uh, hassle, I guess you can say. Every time you want to use it, you need to uh, click the water outside. But um, that's the water. So you'd come up here. The cows would be jumping. You breed them really quickly. And then uh, all the babies would fall in. And then once they grow, whatever. And then you also, at the end, you turn off the water. So. I'm going to actually finish this episode off. Let's actually throw this stuff in here. Grab some of our flowers and some ferns uh, right here. Grab the bone meal. Uh, actually, we got to turn this into bone meal first. First things first, let's just bone meal the whole thing, I guess. We have to extend our path, but of course, we'll do that off camera. Let's just bone meal this whole area. I think that would be nice. Uh, I like bone milling the whole thing and then coming back and replacing other stuff uh, where it's needed. Um, honestly, we could leave it like this for now. 
and then come in with the path we also have the bone meal like this in the back and everything but of course that's off camera work i uh, really don't need to show you guys that but um this might look slightly different next episode i might change the leaves around a little bit um yeah the majority of the design though will stay the same i'm liking the theme with the stone brick and the leaves that we have going right now um, sorry if my voice was a little uh, off today or heard me sniffling or something. I have allergies. They're really bad today. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be one of the quicker episodes. Honestly, I don't know how much time this uh, recording took. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. Our little village is coming along pretty nicely here. We've been away from the uh, nether for a while. But um, now that we have these two things up and running we could um, start trying to uh, save up for an enchantment table. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna put our enchantment table in the nether because that is where I want our main base to be. This is where I just want some extra things like our main physical base will be in the nether. So our enchantment thing will be in there as well as probably our storage. Our storage, we might, have, we might do like a split of half in the overworld, half in the nether. Um, oh, that'd be a, That'd be a pretty good idea, I think, and have like the same design. That'd be cool. But um, yep, that's definitely something for later on. As always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Really, really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.